now because everybody is still asleep and this is really the only time I have right now to record a video like very early in the morning or very late in the evening because there are construction works in this building like all of the time and it's really annoying and as you can see it is still dark outside I really love this time of day <laughs> If I manage to get up that early because I'm always tired, like with a toddler, five-year-old. Um, yeah, it's a new day dawning, a new opportunity to create and to sculpt our lives. And if nobody has told you this recently, you are an artist. You are an artist by nature, you know. I don't believe in that exclusive definition of art. Um, I'm a big Fluxus fan. And I think we as adults tend to forget that creativity manifests in like all kinds of ways. I believe it's the energy we give into this world. You know, it's contagious, like in the best sense of the word. <laughs> mm. You know, it's the way we shape and sculpt and mold this world and that's creativity and um, I think we need to cherish that because denying our creative nature can really lead to stagnant, toxic and also sometimes really destructive energy. Mm. That's my humble opinion. <laughs> so let's remind ourselves that each day, each moment, each single point of attention is a new opportunity to create, to spread creative energy. Because like every seemingly insignificant act of like creativity or and love has really the power to set off a greater shift. Yeah, so let's get to work. <laughs> and speaking of which, um, I decided to try out something new today and to like take you with me into my day, um, into my working day, take you with me to my office, my Kunsthaus, my art house, uh, not my, well, the art house I'm working at. And, you know, just I am inviting you to come with me. And um, yeah, I hope you will leave energized and inspired and i am so glad to have your company oh sorry by the way my name is nastya welcome to my channel embrace yourself baby mm, i am 41 years old and i'm working in a mixed abled inclusive art project more about that later i have studied audiovisual arts at the Academy of Media Arts in Cologne right after high school and um, I also studied social work. I began studying social work when I was 28 years old and you know I never really felt that I fit in anywhere. Somehow I always felt like an outsider most of my life. And for quite a long time I wasn't really able to find a place where I belonged or where, where I felt that I belonged. Like freelancing felt too unstructured and anxiety provoking for me and corporate work didn't seem to have room for my sensitive and creative side so I really tingled around most of my 20s until I started studying social work and redefining what creativity meant for me. And I have to refer to Josef Beuys here, who I really love, and his expanded concept of art. And for those of you who are not familiar with his work, um, Josef saw society as a living work of art, basically, and he encouraged people to engage in a creative transformative process to improve and reshape the social structure. And he believed that everyone, through their thoughts and actions, could contribute to shaping society and culture. And his concept of 
Maybe you, you've heard of his concept of the social sculpture. Um, it emphasizes the idea that basically everyone has the potential to participate actively in shaping a more human and interconnected world. Mm, and that's what I believe as well with every fiber of my being. That's also the reason why I'm making this video. Um, you know, critics may argue that boys... Um, social sculpture concept could you know potentially be seen as a devaluation of traditional artistic forms because it shifts the focus from individual artworks to the idea that you know everyday life and actions can be considered art which is like a very spiritual approach also like in my opinion mm, and some may feel that this broadening of the definition dilutes you know the uniqueness and guilt traditionally associated with artistic creation but i don't believe that um, i believe that the social sculpture provides a very inclusive and empowering perspective that expands the role of art beyond the confines of galleries and museums and you know that's what fluxus or fluxus i don't know how it's pronounced in english is all about you know and life is fluxus <laughs> and speaking of inclusion when i was almost done with my social work studies i was extremely lucky to discover an art project that was um, or is just that inclusive and empowering and i've been working there with mixed able neurodiverse artists people for over 10 years now and my focuses have been on you know artistic assistance project planning but also artistic collaborations and especially social work and our project or our art house consists of a coffee bar a restaurant an art studio an art gallery um, that is in the coffee bar and we are a diverse bunch of people with um, different abilities and some of us are confronted with more barriers challenged with more barriers in society than others are and what we are trying to do is questioning the power structures of society um, of the society we live in and what is considered to be normal or the norm and um, by the way, I will not be filming any of our members um, because some of them are my clients. Uh, I won't film any of their artwork due to privacy protection. So I am in my break right now. I'm alone in the office and I would like to share some thoughts on diversity and inclusion with you. Um, because I believe the basic values of a society are reflected in its attitude towards diversity and inclusion. And um, I believe, you know, that a strong immune system always comes from being able to embrace diversity and differences. And, you know, um, enforced conformity and um, the eradication of differences and nuances and divergence requires a lot of control and sometimes suppression and even violence, you know, against oneself, one's own people, or against threats from outside. And that weakens a society's immune system. That's my firm opinion. And, you know, that's just why I think diversity and inclusion are so, so vital for a strong society, a strong immune system. And, you know, um, I'm saying that as somebody who grew up in Germany, um, ex-GDR, being half Russian and, you know, having spent my first school year in Yemen, having said that, um, I am extremely aware of how privileged I am to be working here in a project like this, um, with values like this. But it shouldn't be a privilege, it should be... Like my dream is, you know, 
to live in a society where we see people for who they are, for their inherent value. It's just why I'm making this video. You know, and although I'm confronted with lots of bureaucracy, that's also Germany for you, and not every task is fun and utterly creative, I have found my tribe and, you know, I, I'm trying to put as much creative energy in everything I'm doing. You know, I want this to be a ray of hope for anybody who's struggling in their 20s or 30s Oh, I, when, where, whenever, if you learn to listen to your intuition, if you let it guide you to places where you feel seen and accepted the way you are, then that's the way to go. You will find your home, you will find your tribe, or it will find you. You know, I never believed that I would find a place like that, a place that nourishes my creativity and that gives me structure and a sense of purpose and belonging but you know I got there every story and every person is different everybody is on a different timeline and if we're struggling from invisible illnesses um, or if we're when we're challenged with barriers more than others if we've experienced trauma and so on we are carrying a weight with us that nobody can see. Um, sometimes we're not even <laughs> able to see it. We're not even aware of it. And people carrying those weights will mostly move through life with a slower pace or let's say with a different pace because what I've come to learn through my work with mixed abled creative people is to question my own judgments as much as I can, the bigger judgments, but especially the micro judgments, towards others, but especially towards myself, because oftentimes we're much more judgmental towards ourselves. And practicing non judgment opens the gates to creative energy. That's what I truly believe. So I'm back home. It's late evening. I have my last my last match here. Let's make it count. I'm gonna light a candle because it's the end of the day, you know. Uh, my son has gone to sleep and my moon is rising. Yeah. And yeah, there's so much more stuff I could have talked about, like art brut and outsider art, but Maybe in another video. For now, I just wanted to thank you for watching until the end. And um, yeah, I really appreciate it. And um, I hope um, you could get some inspiration. And I'm also always very curious about your perspective on things. So feel free to comment. And uh, if you want to stay in touch, consider subscribing. Mm. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so I'm going to sleep now. And yeah, so I hope to see you soon. Stay inspired, stay creative and safe. And auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>